Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the update video on the Chanel mini square that I purchased from Fashion File recently. It was the last purchase of 2019 and I just received it a few days ago. Uh, I did a pretty crappy quasi unboxing video of it as soon as it arrived and I say it was crappy because it was in the evening it was horrible lighting but I was just anxious to get this out to you guys because I had noticed some funny business associated along with this bag and I just needed your thoughts and advice so if you missed that video I will link it down below it's really bad quality in my opinion but you get to see what I'm talking about in terms of the funny business related to this bag. So here's an update. This is the mini square, the highly sought after raspberry, raspberry color. It is technically a dark pink, but it shows up both as pink or shades of red, depending on lighting, whether you're out in the sun or you have um, lamp light versus natural light. It depends also on what you're wearing. It looks beautiful against certain colors. It really pops. It's gorgeous. It is the color that I was looking for for quite some time. And when I saw it listed in excellent condition on the Fashion File website, I didn't really think much about it. I just snatched it up. So I'm going to talk about in this video why I have decided to return this bag. I've owned it for less than a week. And after just a lot of thinking and a lot of really interesting information that I gathered both from Fashion File and the Leather Surgeons, plus from the previous owner of this bag, I will explain. Um, gathering all that information helped me to make my decision and ultimately, like I said, I am going to return this to Fashion File for a full refund. So. If any of you out there are interested in this bag and are looking to purchase it from Fashion File, please listen to everything I have to say here because I think it's important that you are an informed consumer as to what you're getting and all the costs and potential headaches involved with this. So let me get started with, first of all, I want to say that this bag was originally listed on Fashion File for $38.05. We all know that the mini squares are currently retailing for $3,200, so that is substantially above the retail price. However, that's not exactly um, unusual considering this is a highly sought after um, item in a very unique color that cannot be found easily elsewhere. I've seen this listed for uh, even in the 4,000s, close to 4,000, slightly above 4,000. So relatively speaking, in terms of what the market is dictating and what other customers are willing to spend on one of these pre-loved, it's really no surprise that Fashion File listed it above retail. But I had a 10% promo code at the time so I used that and that brought the price down to $34.24.50. I just want to be very precise. So the dollar amount I paid was $34.24.50 plus New York tax. That's still above retail, but I figured, oh my gosh, this is a rare item. I've been wanting it. It's in excellent condition. I'm going to love it and use it all the time and make great use out of it and have it for many years. So a couple hundred dollars is not going to kill me. I can stomach that. Mind you, this was the very first and only time I've ever paid over retail for anything. I love, love, love looking for uh, sales and discounts and promo codes and all of that, which is why I put my other two Chanel goodies here just so you can see if you missed those original videos. I did purchase my Chanel wallet on chain in new condition on Fashion File for slightly below retail. And then I purchased this beauty, which is my 20 year old vintage Chanel in the lambskin, medium size, for an amazing price in very good condition. It was actually priced less than the, the current retail price of a Chanel rectangular mini. So I'm very, very pleased with these two items. This one I was hoping to be equally as pleased, but if you listen to this entire story, you'll understand why. I, I, th I think you'll understand why I've decided to return it. So when I first unboxed this cutie, the first 
thing that I noticed was that the chain was unusually long. And when I went back to the fashion file listing, it did say that the, the chain was 24.75 inches, which is very, very, very long and unusual, like I said, for a Chanel mini square. It really shouldn't be more than 20 to 21 inches. It may vary a little bit based on the year, the series, but it really shouldn't, I have never ever seen a mini square over 21 inches. And one of the main reasons why I wanted a square mini versus a rectangular mini is because I wanted something a little bit shorter. This, my wallet on chain has a quite, quite a long chain drop, which is fine because it works for me cross body and I can also uh, wrap it around and make it shorter. It's, it's actually a very versatile little bag. Um, but for the square mini, I thought it would be perfect because it hits me in all the right spots. However, when I tried this on, it was just as long as my wallet on chain. So I was like, hmm, something's not right. I Bad on me, just to take ownership, I really should have paid closer attention to the listing. Normally, I am very, very meticulous about reading every single um, note on the listing but when I saw this like I said I was so excited and it just said excellent condition the only where that was noted was it said handle discoloration that's it there was no mention of anything else it just said handle discoloration well it turns out the handle and what they mean is the chain strap it's not discoloration so this was an oversight by fashion file it is actually an added piece. This chain strap has been altered. So again, if you missed my previous video on this, let me show you a close up. So right around here, you see a, a color break. So this is all original chain in the beautiful raspberry. And then right when you get to about here, you see a darker color. It has just a noticeably different color. And so from here onward is all new chain. And I had also mentioned in the original video that the chain was sort of coming apart. As you can see where it's folded, it's not neatly, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but you shouldn't see the other side of the leather where it's folded. There's And there's also like this glue residue or some grit here. It's kind of like this brown sandy color. I'm sure you can see it if you look closely here. So this really bothered me and I thought, at first I thought, oh my gosh, is this a fake? <laughs> but that was just my crazy emotional reaction. I do think this is an authentic bag. I'm now 100% sure that it's authentic, um, especially because the previous owner of this bag who sold it to Fashion File, she found my YouTube video and was nice enough to comment and let me know that this was her bag, that she had just recently sold it to Fashion File a few weeks ago. She is 1000% sure that it is authentic, she can guarantee, and that she had the chain strap altered by the leather surgeons because she's quite tall and she has a longer torso. So. I thought that was, first of all, <laughs> amazing that somehow she found my video. She had never seen any of my videos before. It's not like she was a subby. She just was, I don't know, she was watching YouTube and then came across the video. So now she's a subscriber and we talked on the phone and her name is Jennifer. She's so lovely. She was just so open and honest and generous with all the information that she shared with me from where she first purchased the bag, how much she paid for it, how much she sold it to Fashion File. For all of that information, she was just really, really super transparent with me and just a lovely person. So shout out to Jennifer. Thank you so much again because you really did fill in so many of the blanks in, that were in my head in terms of solving this mystery. So this is an authentic bag. It is definitely authentic. Um, the fact that leather surgeons could not replicate the color exactly should give you some weird sense of peace of mind that this bag, the raspberry color, there probably is no fake out there or if there is, it's probably easy to spot 
I'm sure that I shouldn't say there is no fake. I'm sure there are fakes out there. But I would imagine if you put it next to a real one or if you're familiar with a real one, you'd be able to spot it pretty quickly because the fact that leather surgeons couldn't replicate the color closer to the original says a lot. Um, so here's the thing. Jennifer and I talked and she said, um, you know, you could just send it back to the leather surgeons and have them alter it back because they adjusted it in a way where they could undo it. So I was like, okay, perfect, perfect. And my friend who I became friends with on Instagram, Elma, she can be found at Jean Guru, J-E-A-N-G-U-R-U. She's a fantastic human being. She's on Instagram if you want to follow her. She's an expert in so many things. And she was actually the very first person to reach out immediately. And she was like, that bag is real. The chain strap was altered. That's your problem. She knew right away. She was like, measure the length of the part that has the discoloration. And imagine if that part was gone would the would the chain strap be the correct length and and that's exactly right if this part was removed the chain strap would be back to the original length so she's a genius <laughs> and a lot of you also followed suit and commented the same thing so thank you so much for weighing in and just giving me all that helpful information um but here's the problem i called fashion file we had a couple of different interactions and up until now, I have been a huge fan of Fashion File, as many of you know, and I have sold to them. I have purchased a lot from them. Um, just in the last few months, I've managed to hit the five-figure amount in terms of buying stuff from them. So I really thought that I was going to get a higher level of customer service. But you guys know, I mentioned in my first video, in my first phone call with a customer service rep with Fashion File, she insisted that I shouldn't worry because the chain strap was just adjusted by Chanel for the specific market or country they're selling it to, which is a little bit bizarre. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So I just kind of ignored that. So that was a little weird. And the fact that she didn't have the expertise to speak about the bag, but yet she was giving me all the reasons as to why the bag is fine the way it is. That kind of irked me. Um, and then my second interaction was with a different customer service representative and she was fine, but she basically said to me, the best thing that we could do for you is to just give you a full refund if you return the bag. And that's not really doing anything for me. That's just their normal policy. So I explained to her that I really had my heart set on this bag and all I was looking for was some sort of partial refund to offset the cost of getting the chain strap altered back to its original length by the leather surgeons. And she's like, well, we don't really do that. We don't typically give partial refunds. That also bothered me because we all know that's not true. There are a ton of YouTubers out there who have purchased pre-loved items and for whatever reason, if the listing was not accurate, they, at least they claim to have received partial refunds. So I said to her, I don't, I don't believe that to be true based on what I've heard from other stories. And she said, well, no, typically we, we don't offer partial refunds, so I don't want you to get your hopes up. And then I said to her, well, I have verification that the chain was indeed altered. So I think you need to relay to management that they listed this bag as if it's an original condition with nothing, you know, different or altered about it. And the only note they made on the listing was that the handle was discolored, which is not really accurate. So could you please pass that along and see if they'll reconsider? And she said, how do you know for sure that the chain was altered? And I said, believe it or not, when you put me on hold, I got a message from the previous owner who sold this bag to Fashion File. And she confirmed that this is her bag and that she had it altered. So there you have it. And the customer service representative, she didn't believe me. Her response was, really, well, what's her name? What's the previous owner's name? So that too irked me just because I didn't feel like a very cooperative vibe coming from fashion file and I was really surprised. I'm sure they could pull up my history and see that I've been a regular customer and how much I've spent and all of that. So 
Anyway, long story short, in the end, after a few more interactions, that same customer service rep called me back and she said, okay, spoke with management. This is the final decision. There's no wiggle room. There's no, you know, nothing else we can do. The best is that we can give you a $50 credit towards your next purchase on Fashion File or expedited overnight shipping on your next purchase, <laughs> which is sort of laughable. So I said, I'm not interested in the expedited shipping. Uh, is there anything more you can do? $50 is not even going to cover the work that I need to get done through leather surgeons. They quoted me above $100 plus shipping and all that. So it's probably going to cost me, you know, about $150 or more. And she said flat out, no. Uh, then I said, could you make it a refund instead of a credit on my account? And she said, maybe. So she put me on hold again, and then she came back and said, yes, I can process it as a $50 refund. But $50, guys, at this point, it's not even about the money. Of course, partly it's about the money, but it's also about like the hassle of all of this. And I thought to myself, every time I look at this bag, I should feel joy. I should feel excitement. I should feel good. I should feel positive vibes every time I throw it on. I should be like, yeah, this is my cute little raspberry that I finally found and I love it. I love it. Um, I know myself and I, I realized that instead I would look at this bag and go, oh my gosh, remember when I went through all of that just to get it altered and I paid above retail and they weren't even so nice about it at Fashion File and was it even worth it? And if another beautiful color comes out from Chanel in the near future, I might regret this. <laughs> so the last deciding factor was for me to connect with the leather surgeons. Now they had already given me a quote. It was very reasonable. By the way, Jerry, Corey, Hunter at the leather surgeons, all fantastic, super knowledgeable, friendly, polite, professional, courteous, everything. So I really, really appreciate them and their team and their reputation and their service and all of that. So they were very quick about getting back to me with a quote. And then I added on to that estimated shipping both ways. Um, it would probably take at least a week or two for them to get to this. So I'd be parting with the bag for, let's say, a couple of weeks and waiting and hoping that it comes back in the condition I want it to. But do you guys remember in the first video I shared with you my concerns about the chain, but also I considered I shared with you that I don't love the protruding on the sides. This is not a defect, so there's no fault to Chanel or Fashion File. This is just my personal preference. As you can see with my other Chanel pieces, I like straight, neat lines on both sides. I was willing to just, you know, not make such a fuss over that pe about the sides for this bag because I thought it's so rare and hard to find and I finally found the color. Let me not be so fussy about that. But if I had it my way, I would want this indentation to go a little bit further down so that the sides would be neater and kind of symmetrical, I guess. So it would look more like this versus having those little uh, bulges on the side. So I asked the leather surgeons if they could do anything about that and they said they'd have to open up the entire bag to redo the structure and it's probably not worth it to do that because the general condition of the bag is still really good, which I agree with. So I appreciated their honesty and their advice on that. So this is not something that's going to be corrected. And then I had also mentioned in my first video that the chain links had gaps in them here, if you can see that. This one is a pretty noticeable gap, and then on the other side, a little less noticeable, but still a gap. So I asked the leather surgeons about that, and they said, once a chain link is opened up to adjust or alter or what have you, and then put back on and closed, you can never fully close it all the way back because there has to be a little bit of give in the metal. So this is not something that he would have been able to address. So that bothers me because it's kind of all related to the chain being altered, right? And then it makes me think if I alter it back to the original length, that's twice 
that these links have to be opened up. So then will the gap be even farther apart? I don't know. These are all like question marks that I, you know, I started to have. And then finally, the kicker, I asked Jerry, if you alter the chain strap back to the original length, will it pretty much look like how it's always looked, you know, in the first place? Will it, will it look like original condition? Or will I or someone else be able to tell that it had been altered? And again, he was so honest and so wonderful about just sharing all the information to help me make my decision. He said that unfortunately, there will still be about an inch or so where you will see the darker discoloration or darker coloration because of the way they had to overlap this piece with the original. They wouldn't be able to completely get rid of that. Unless, he said, unless he shortens the strap beyond the original length and it becomes an inch or two shorter, then he could make sure that it's all original Chanel leather. And that, that just didn't sit well with me because I'm paying above retail price for a bag to be altered twice. Fashion file not taking much ownership of it. So then what am I just the sucker? <laughs> um, and leather surgeons very on honestly and candidly letting me know that no, it will not be back in its original condition. Either you will have to live with a little bit of the darkness on the chain or we will have to make the chain even shorter than it was meant to be. So once I had that information coupled with everything else that I learned I decided 100% I am returning this bag back to Fashion File and getting a full refund. I'm disappointed, but I'm more just at peace with my decision because, like I said, I know myself and I wouldn't have been 100% happy to keep this bag in the future with all the hassle and the fuss around it and feeling like, not that I got screwed over by Fashion File, I don't want to be overly dramatic. I still think that they're pretty good with what they do. But I just wish that they had taken ownership of this oversight. For example, when I spoke with them, if they said, our apologies, you know, we hold ourselves to much higher standards than this, and we should have been more meticulous about listing the specific condition of the bag. We understand this is a great inconvenience for you, and there's a cost involved. Let's see what we can do. I think, you know, even the language of how you speak to a customer is important versus don't get your hopes up. We probably can't do much other than a, a refund. Like, it didn't feel very polished. It didn't feel very high end. So if anyone from Fashion File is watching this, that would be my ask that you maybe train your staff to be a bit more professional in their interactions with customers who are spending thousands upon thousands of dollars to purchase items from you. I will still support Fashion File to an extent, but because this is my first, you know, negative experience with Fashion File, but if I have another one, then, you know, I'm usually the type of person that just cuts ties pretty, pretty cleanly. I just, I don't turn back. So let's see how it goes. Um, but that is my full story. So thank you to my friend Elma at Jean Guru on Instagram, because she was the one who was the first to enlighten me on this whole chain alteration um, issue. And then thank you to Jennifer Seeger, who was so kind and lovely and generous with reaching out and letting me know that she was the previous owner and giving me all the background and history so that I can make an informed decision. And thank you to you guys for watching my first video, watching this one, but also commenting, reaching out, DMing me, just, you know, giving me your advice. A lot of you own Square Minis and you guys were kind enough to reach out to me and let me know, you know, the exact length of yours so that I could have that information. Um, so thank you to everyone. I hope this video answered all of your questions because I did receive a lot of questions and I just wanted to make sure I could answer all of them here in one once you know one place one shot so um i'm responding to everyone and if i missed anything please let me know in the comments below and i'll try to respond back to you but yeah essentially i think that someone is going to buy this from fashion file i i mean i hope that they list it back with very clear um specific clear dis description of the chain alteration and all of that i hope they they do their job. Um, 
because I know that this is going to get snatched up probably within the week that it's posted because someone out there wants this badly and they're probably going to be willing to pay the full listing price, which was what, 3805 I wouldn't pay that, but someone out there will because they'll love it and it'll be worth it for them. Whoever that person is, I just hope that you are able to watch this video and just see what you're getting and calculate if it's worth, you know, the cost of altering it. And, or maybe you're super tall and you're looking for this exact bag and you need a taller or I should say a longer change, change strap and it's perfect for you. So my point is this bag has an owner somewhere out there and whoever gets this, they're going to be super, super happy and thrilled and they're not going to be worrying and fussing over it because it's not the right price or strap length or you know because it's altered um they're just gonna be happy and i want this bag to go to that person it's not meant to be mine uh, if i had purchased this knowing that i needed to do some alterations like for example if i purchased a bag on fashion file or anywhere else knowing it was going to be somewhat of like a restoration project yeah i would have been fine if I knew what I was getting into and I had budgeted it for, you know, extra cost to either alter it or get some work done. But no, this one, I was expecting it to be exactly in the condition it was listed in as excellent with no alterations. And that's why I was willing to pay a little bit over retail. But since that all changed and what I got is different from what I expected, um, I am going to have to return it. So I'm going to ship it out today, actually. So it'll be going out today and I'm sure Fashion File will receive it in just a few days and you guys can go check Fashion File next week and see if it's listed. I sure will check because I'm just curious. Um, but yeah, that's it. And the last thing I wanted to mention is I keep forgetting to mention that the giveaway for the Longchamp coin purse uh, closed on January 3rd and the winner was announced on January 4th on my Instagram stories. So congratulations again to Chrissy. She's a lovely person. I've been fortunate enough to become friends with her on Instagram now and also through YouTube. She, but she received her little coin purse, this goodie here. So now we're twinning. And she said it's perfect for her little makeup items that she can use on a daily basis. So I'm so glad that she was the winner. She was randomly chosen by my kids. And I'm really excited to do another giveaway. I'm like itching to do another one. I know I should probably wait a little bit longer, but I just want to do another giveaway. So my kids and our my kids and I, because I got them involved, we're trying to drum up an idea for the next best product or item to do a giveaway. Um, with so stay tuned for that and again thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching till next time bye bye